Hi everyone, this is Susie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this really adorable project that I made. I was actually starting to make myself this pouch and then I thought I'd go ahead and try to make it a little bit shabby chic. A lot of style that I used to do at one point in time. And um, I'm here to show you that today. And uh, with showing you that, I'd like to share with you that the ruffled lace that I used here is from Gisela Clark's store over on Etsy.com called Lavish Laces. I will put the name of the store in the drop box down below so that you can go ahead and check it out. Maybe you're interested in some of these laces and some of the other beautiful things that she carries. And in the meantime, I'm just going to show you what I did here. So I'm just going to put the phone down. I'm at my dining room table. Hopefully it doesn't flop off because when I use my tripod, it does something crazy to the phone. So I'm not going to use it. Okay. So anyway, um, I had this beautiful piece of fabric um, from an old project. It's actually fabric that you would use like on a dining room chair. So it's really quite substantial in its feel. It's almost like a, a heavy linen kind of feeling. And I've made projects using this in the past and I had this piece that I found and I thought I would try and use it. So at first I was doing something different like an eyeglass case and then I thought that this pouch would be really cute. Um, I may be doing some traveling in the next month or two and uh, this would be really cool to put a few things in here like my jewelry or some extra money or something that I just want to put in a safe place and put it in here. Um, so I'll show you what I did. Um, I don't have any measurements or anything like that, but I used this large piece of fabric and I'm going to open this right now and show you what I did. It was really quite uh, not much to it. Um, and sewing it, I did it wrong because I wanted to have um, the other fabric that I did, uh, which is on the inside of it, which is like a lavender silk. It got in there, and I don't know, I reversed it the wrong way. It didn't work itself out. But anyway, the inside is a muslin fabric. And what I did, I had this really pretty piece of lace, very wide, maybe four inches and a half wide lace. I'm hoping you can see it. And um, I made just like a pocket, almost like in your wallet when you're going to put like money in one side, money in the other. So I thought that was a really cute idea to do that. And it's just like a small pouch. Um, when I cut the size out, maybe um, eight or nine inches tall by almost the size and the width the same, I kind of screwed up the measurements, which you can see over here on the side. <laughs> it's a little shorter, but that's okay because um, I made it and I like the way that it looks just the way that it is. Um, the inside's muslin, the outside is that pretty floral fabric. And then I got a piece of white seam binding and I glued that in um, with some uh, Fabri-Tac and I used a vintage pink button. And uh, the whole thing was sewn on my sewing machine but then I used um, to add the piece in there. I used the fabric tack on that one. And then you just simply close the flap over and these two pieces tie to keep it closed. Um, I have Velcro. I couldn't find it. I thought that might be easier to just pull it open. And I used this um, really pretty lace trim from um, Gisela Clark's Lavish Laces. Really pretty. Probably about um, an inch or an inch and a half in the width, like a cream color. Really pretty, like a netting with like a little floral in there. Very pretty cream color. Uh, my last project was a heart that I made, um, and that heart had uh, this fabric going around it on the inside of the heart. And there was a few inches left over, so I put that in there, too. It looks really, really pretty. I love working with the cream colors more than white, really. The cream is my favorite. Um, I can really get carried away with the creams because I can dye them. The white 
white is pretty and I always lean towards bridal when I use white but when I um, use the creams it really uh, leaves a lot of options open for me when it comes to shabby chic or vintage or Marie Antoinette type style which I plan on doing some type of project like that soon I miss doing all of that I got very involved with flower making and ornaments it just was uh, really took me over and doing what I love the most, which are these kind of projects under Susie Crafter's designs. Um, I miss the most, so I'm happy to be getting back to it. And getting back to this, um, I put a little um, flower there in the center, which is a mulberry paper flower and, and cream. And then two little ones in a, in a little pink and cream uh, double color. And then the vintage buttons again. And then just some stray pearls on the side, just to cover kind of like the seam on the ends a little bit. Really cute. And it closes like this. And I just hope I'm not too close. <laughs> Let me see if I can try it back away a little. I didn't want to get my whole dining room in there. Maybe that'll be better. Yeah, and then you just... This was really not hard at all. Just like have a big piece of fabric, you know, like a, a long, oblong piece of fabric. Fold it in half one way and half another way. zippity do with the glue or the, or, the, um, or the sewing machine or by hand. And you have yourself this cute little, you know, I can even put like, let me see, I'll take my glasses off now. I really can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> but even like if you wanted to just, you know, have something in your in your bag where you can put your glasses in. And that works fine. And then you just, you know, get the seam binding or whatever kind of ribbon or some kind of like really pretty rhinestone button and a snap underneath. Really super cute. And just tie it in a bow and close it. So along with this project, um, I'm taking my glasses out. <laughs> <laughs> so I can see what I'm doing. But along with this project, I also decided to make a long time older um, craft that I haven't done in quite some time. And that's the uh, flower pen. At one time, I did these with really long feathers, very shabby Marie looking and bridal for the, the guest signing. And this was really uh, quite a simple, you can use your homemade flower up on top with some hot glue. I made the leaves. You can use a store-bought flower. Um, I put a few uh, strand pearl around this, the middle and the bottom and some floral tape here. And I did not go all the way down using a black Bic pen so that when you want to write with it, it's kind of comfortable and you don't feel like the, the paper from this unless you want to use some other kind of tape you can um, I would think that you might be able to use box tape or some they make them electrical tape like all different colors now so you can really get carried away with that that's a mulberry paper rose um, I do have flower pens that I made with my own flowers up on top but I was kind of looking for something that would coordinate nicely uh, with the pouch that I made which I thought was really very cute so um, still live photos will be on my um, my Facebook page Susie Crafter Designs um, or you might see it under Susan Crafter at one time Facebook made me change my name so I had to make it just the way that they asked me to otherwise they were going to get rid of my page um, but anyway Again, in the end, if you're interested, um, the muslin I bought off of Amazon, uh, the lace, I don't know where it came from. I had this lace from wherever I found it in a box. Um, the tapestry in the background my husband had gotten for me a very long time ago. Scraps just left over. Flowers, um, stash of pearls. You can buy these in Michaels or online anywhere. Uh, Gisela Clark's uh, lavish laces for the trim. Now it doesn't come like that. It comes very straight. Uh, what I did was put a needle and thread through this to ruffle it up a lot. It looks really adorable in person. I wish you can see it. And that's really it. Just a really cute gift for somebody 
or you know if you're going to the beach or you want to pack some things you're going away for the weekend Atlantic City or whatever visiting a friend eyeglass case um, wallet a place to keep your jewelry you know sometimes you have like you know silver items that you want to uh, keep nice and clean in there I'm sure it would hold up fine in travel um, but if you're traveling with it I would probably do like the velcro or a couple of snaps or maybe even a button but I was good with the um, the tie right here and that's it you guys so thank you so much for stopping by please like and share um, if you're not subscribed to my channel already please subscribe even share my channel to Facebook I'm trying to uh, get back up and, and running again on YouTube. Um, I know I've got somewhere along the line, like n close to or near 10,000, um, subscribers. And that's over a, uh, 10 year plus time. So I'd love it if, uh, if we can all get back to the way things were once before I really miss everybody. And I had so many YouTube friends and other Facebook friends and so many people, oh my goodness, all over the world that uh, we would do, we would talk and we would do swaps and, and all, I miss all of it and, and I'm getting back into it. So again, thank you so much everyone and thank you Jaisala for the very pretty lace. This was really a lot of fun to make. Okay everybody, stay well and thank you for watching.